Hi, Random Inkeeper here and welcome to my channel where I make medieval food in a modern way. This recipe is from 15th century and it's originally for hare, but since it's quite impossible to get hare this time of year, you can use rabbit as I did. You will need Rabbit or hare Red wine Unsalted beef stock Breadcrumbs Pepper Ginger Clove Saffron Onions And apples Starting with a medieval version Roughly chop onion and apple. Pour red wine into a pot. Place in the rabbit. Add chopped apple and onion. Level up with stock. Bring to the boil. Then turn it down and cook for about an hour. Until meat is soft and tender. In half time, turn the rabbit over. When cooked, take out the meat and strain the sauce. Try to push onion and apple through the sieve to get maximum flavor into the sauce. This also helps to thicken up the sauce. Season with pepper, clove, ginger and saffron. Use breadcrumbs to finish the sauce to get the wanted thickness. Serve with bread and beer. This is one of the good recipes from the past, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't make it a little bit better. Finally chop the onion and in the same way chop the apples into small cubes. Melt the lard on a high heat and fry the rabbit to get nice golden color. Season with salt and pepper. Then take it out of the pan. Replace it with onion and fry until lightly browned. Then pour in some wine to deglaze the pan and when it evaporates, add a tablespoon or two of flour and fry for one minute. Pour in the beef stock and bring to the boil. Place the meat back into the sauce along with the resting juices and season with saffron. Add a little bit of liquid if needed and cook for about an hour. The rabbit should be covered halfway up. In half time, turn it over. In another pan, melt the butter and fry the apples on it. Add a bit of sugar, clove, ginger and a little water. Stir it and let it cook covered until apples are melted. It will take about 15 minutes. You can also mash it to make a puree. Thicken it up with the breadcrumbs if needed and let it rest. Make a bed of an rustic apple mash, place a rabbit leg on the top and pour over an round strained sauce from the rabbit. And here is my modern twist on a medieval recipe from 15th century. I hope you liked this video, leave a like or a comment, hit the subscribe if you want to. You can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Check the description for details. Thank you for your visit and see you soon!